good evening friends how are you i hope you are all doing well today i'm going to show you how you can install uh, red mine into aws so let's get started <clears throat> i am in aws live cell so if you are logged in into your uh, aws console then you can come from uh, aws console to live cell easily by clicking on the search box so let's uh, let me show you how you can come from the console. So here in the search box, you type in light cell. <coughs> you should probably see uh, options to go to light cell directly from this list. Here it is. So uh, if you click here, it will go to the light cell. I am already in the light cell and I'm going to create a new instance here. So let's create here. First, choose the location of the instance. So here are a lot of options available. I have selected Singapore, which is nearest to me. If you are using, uh, if you are residing in uh, India, you can choose Mumbai. If you are in, residing in uh, US, you should uh, choose these three options from US. So there are a lot of options available in the US. And if you are in uh, Europe, you should probably check Stockholm, Ireland, London. So these options are available for you. So I have selected Singapore. So now let's continue. And then from the list of app and OS, choose Redmine. Uh, Redmine. So actually Redmine. Redmine. So Redmine uh, is a project management uh, web application that you can host in your own server and use it for project management. So once you have selected this, let's go down, select the uh, package that you, you wanted to use. The first three months are free. So I'm going to choose the $10 for now. And then identify your instance name. Let's say give me my project management. And then get instance. It should create you the instance uh, required for this uh, red, red mine. So um, uh, it will take some time. So let's wait one or two minutes. And we press in the page to see if there's any of that. It is still pending, so let's wait for one or two minutes. Meanwhile, <clears throat> this is being loaded. Let's go to the networking and uh, create a stick icon. So by default, when you create a new instance on Lightcell, your IP is like a variable IP that it's changing every time you reboot the instance or shut shut it shut down and restart. It's better to have an elastic IP. So let's create an elastic IP and uh, give this. Elastic, elastic IPs are free and it's good to use elastic IP. You have a fixed IP to point your domain to this. So now uh, here is the official documentation for Redmine. So it is, uh, it is managed in inside AWS with uh, Bitnami. So they are the uh, kind of AMI manager, which is installing the red mine, creating an AMI and distributing the message inside AWS. So here, the most of the documentations are given. So you can copy these comments and run into your terminal. So let's go to do the step number one. So what it says that connect to SSH. So I'm going to go here and connect to the SSH. Usually, if your server is not up and running, you should get some errors that uh, the server is not running. So you have to wait. But uh, once, yeah, we have to wait one or two more minutes. But once everything is up and running, you should be able to connect to your server using SSH. 
I'm going to refresh a few more times. Okay, so uh, I have waited one or two more minutes. Let's try to connect now. I think it's now ready. So we should see the yes here it is. So let's copy the command. Uh, this command will give you the uh, basic uh, initial password that has come from this and so this is the password. It will be different for your case. So just copy this and uh, paste it in a notepad, which you can use later on. Okay, so let's save this. Then uh, we have to attach this IP to a domain. So let's copy the IP address. And let's go to Cloudflare. I usually manage my domains in Cloudflare. So let's create a record here. So the name should be PM. And then this is the IP address. And we can stop the proxy bar. So it should be like pm.apk.xyz. That should go to URL of this project. PM.apk.xyz. Okay, uh, it looks like I am already able to do this screen. Now let's try to log in. So, uh, the username is user and the password is the password that I have given here. Okay. That should log in Now I'm going to install SSL here. SSH here. So let's. Uh, see the documentation. The documentation says that you can use Bitnami SAT to configure the SSL. So let's go here and paste it. It will uh, at first ask me to upgrade the BNSAT tools. So yeah, I want to upgrade it. Then you need to run it again. So this will try to uh, install the SSL certificate. So here the domain is I don't want www because that's not part of this. I just want uh, on this and HTTP to HTTP redirection at this moment. No, I can do that bit later on. So, yeah, email address I at the record. Yeah. It will take some time, I think one or two more minutes. So let's wait. <clears throat> okay. Now uh, let's try to refresh this with HTTPS. And I should be able to do it here. So it is secure now, and uh, I will go to my account. That is also good. That's my account. Projects, I'm going to create a new project. AWS content. AWS tips. So I'm going to create a new project, namely AWS tips. That will be uh, creating tips for AWS. So this is the project. Let's create an issue. So create an issue. Uh, the issue is like uh, 
set up a WordPress blog. Well, you, you can actually write a lot of things here. Like uh, you can uh, hit bugs, feature support, it's a bug. And maybe you have a bug in your project is that uh, logging in and then you can assign it to other people, but it's assigned to me. There is no other people here. But if there is other people, you can understand it. So there are two issues. You can track time. You can actually get emails, get done. So if it is a full project management system, if you want to be used for your personal projects or your company projects, which is self-hosted. It's not cloud-hosted, but uh self-hosted not a SaaS service but you, you, you have the full control of all those data so most people uh fear about is that when you use some uh, project management tool as a SaaS service then you, you uh, give all your data to those third party uh, companies which is uh, a bit insecure if you wanted to have a full control of your own data you can use AWS and uh, host your project management tool into this platform and uh, manage all the projects here. So I hope this helps you to uh, set up a uh, red mine into AWS. So it's a nice project management tool. I hope it helps you to get started with your own projects, personal projects, company projects, your freelancing works, etc. And uh, if you like this, please subscribe to my channel. I will create more helpful tutorials like this. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.